Hi again guys, I'm back with the announcement you see in the title of this video, as a lot of you guessed. Um, I suppose it was quite obvious, I'm actually starting my own puzzle store. Um, some of you may have seen in recent videos I mentioned that I'm losing my job soon, at the end of March in fact, and I was trying to think what I was going to do for the future and I thought, you know what, let's see if I can make a living out of puzzles. Um, I haven't got into it full tilt as yet. I, um, really wanted to kind of do a taster. I mean, I know I can sell the puzzles. I've sold many, many puzzles in the past. That's not a problem. Whether I can sell enough at enough profit to make a living is a different matter. So this is just kind of a test of sorts. Um, as I said, many of you guessed in my previous unboxing video what these were for. And I suppose it was fairly obvious. Um, especially if you, as I've said many times, I'm not a skilled modder, so I'm not going to be modding things like 11 by 11s and 13 by 13s. I just haven't got the ability to do things like that well. So there'd be no point doing that. So I'm sure many of you actually heard me say things like that before. So yeah, as I said, many of you guessed exactly what it was and yeah, I shouldn't be too surprised about that. So to answer a few questions about why I've chosen the puzzles I've so chosen to, sell, to start with, um, Somebody said, why aren't I selling things like 2x2s and 3x3s? Well, the answer to that is quite simple, really. The 2x2s that I found um, where I got these puzzles from, I, I couldn't really sell them at enough of a profit. Once you took into account things like um, my, ship, my postage costs to get them, my import duty costs, my um, the cost of me sending them to the buyers, there wasn't really much of a profit margin in there on 2x2s are the ones I saw. I'd need to source them from the actual manufacturers which is not where I got these puzzles from. As for 3x3s, it's very difficult to sell 3x3s on eBay. Now these puzzles will be sold on eBay to begin with. If, it, if I do go into it um, fully um, as an attempt to actually make a living out of it then I will set up a dedicated website of course and things will be different then. However, on eBay, Seven Towns, the owner of Rubik's, kind of ruled the roost. I found this out to my cost when I was selling off my collection last year. Um, and I know many other people have said the same things. eBay based, uh, will allow Seven Towns to tell them that any puzzle, whether it does violate their trademark rights or not, eBay allows them to take those auctions down. I had many of my auctions taken down by this fact. I complained to Seven Town Security on multiple occasions. It must be, I would think, at least 10 occasions. Most of them got reinstated, but actually a month after the auctions had ended. And they, there is no recourse whatsoever to try and complain about it. Um, the security people on the email are... A bunch of idiots to be perfectly honest I'm, I'm sorry but they are they, they they're very unethical as far as I'm concerned they're deliberately trying to destroy their competition by taking auctions down that do not violate their trademark rights now whilst a lot of three by three cube uh, speed cubes don't violate their rights because basically what they've got in Europe is a cube has to be I've got actually a cube here. Three by three orthogonal grid, orthogonal grid even. <laughs> so it basically it's got to be kind of perfect squares. Now if you look at like the way along here, it's not perfect squares. There's many curves and things. There's no way that Seven Towns can claim that that is a three by three orthogonal grid because it's it's simply not. However, I can guarantee that if I put that up for sale on eBay, Rubik's would have it taken down and you complain to eBay and that all their response is, is that the rights holder is the expert on them. If you've got a problem with it, take it up with them. There's just no recourse of action that you can take to stop them doing it. So there's no point me trying to sell 3 by 3s on eBay. If I set up my own website where I can choose whether or not they actually do take it down, then things will be different and I will start selling 3 by 3 speed cubes when I can source them from the suppliers. So anyway, that's the reasoning for that. And also, um, how I started with this was trying to buy some puzzles that I wanted back in my collection, like the, um, I never ever did get around to buying the entire 3x3x5 by three by um, N series from Wit Eden, so I wanted to get those back in my collection, and all the um, camouflage cubes, which if you watch, watch my old videos, you'll know I'm a very, very big fan of, and I wanted those in my collection, plus the um, Crazy Planet series, 
of puddles which I never ever had the full ones of plus they are now available in stickers again which I wanted because they're much better than the black stickered versions just simply because the the stickers wear out on the small inner pieces very quickly on this black stickered versions and they don't look nice after a while and the wormhole puddles the mix-up plus puddles all ones that I wanted back in my collection um, so it started out with me trying to purchase them at cheapest cost I could possibly find them um, I eventually kind of found them very cheaply and thought you know what these would be possible for me to sell them at a profit. I mean, obviously, it only worked when I bought them in bulk, which is why I did it. So then I thought I'd keep the ones in my collection and then sell the spares off and make a little bit of money. And yeah, the idea kind of grew in my head. Also, the ones I chose were these uh, things like the new YJ in Inequilateral Cube and the Axis Cube and the um, Moyu uh, Megamorphics which are all things that I think are going to be quite popular at the moment for people to buy and other things like that I saw that I thought I could make a reasonable amount of profit on it when, if and when they sell things like the 11 by 11 the 13 by 13 that are going to be up for sale uh, the 13 by 13 is already up on eBay as I record this video and a few other puzzles and obviously the rest will be done gradually I'm trying to make it look quite professional rather than just a standard eBay auction page so it takes a little bit of extra time to actually uh, get all the photographs done nicely and uh, um, do the HTML code for the um, for the uh, borders and backgrounds and, and buttons in the auctions etc so it takes me a little bit longer to list each item but obviously it looks better once I've spent that time doing it actually one more thing I wanted to say before I go guys uh, I forgot to mention in the first part of recording this um, there will be a few more videos popping up on my channel. Um, I will call them demonstrations each time I upload one. It will literally just be a quick demonstration of a minute or so of how a puzzle operates. Um, it will be for my eBay listings only, just so um, people arriving at my eBay pages can have a quick look at exactly how a puzzle operates. Um, it's not going to be a full unboxing, full review, anything like that. So if um, that's probably not going to interest you guys who are watching this, uh, most of my uh, regular viewers. So please feel free to skip on by. I mean, if you want to see them, and feel free to have a look, of course, obviously. But, um, yeah, the demonstrations will just be literally a quick... I don't know if I'll even talk on them. It will just be a quick demonstration of exactly how the puzzle moves so people can see what they're looking at for those who are not um, kind of puzzle aficionados, so to speak, who've landed on my eBay page necessarily and might not know exactly what the puzzle does or how it operates. So, yeah, bear that in mind if every time you see a, uh, an upload from me that says demonstration in the title. I will also be creating a Facebook page for my store. I've called it the Puzzle Box. I can't. I've had a quick look around. I can't find anything else called that. So my store is basically called the Puzzle Box at the moment. As I said, I'm going to create a Facebook page. Um, it won't just have stuff about what I'm selling. It'll have things like puzzle news and stuff. So I'll post the link in the description once I've created, got that up and running. So please give that a like and. Uh, follow that page it'll also have like i say news and announcements of upcoming puzzles and that are coming out and things like that and um, again if i go in, into this full ball i'll also have things like like promotional giveaways and things like that perhaps that i'm also thinking about um so yeah keep an eye on that page because they will be announced there once i've got that up and running so yeah i think that's about it for this video guys um please check out my ebay store obviously uh check it out regularly over the next couple of weeks or so while i'm adding more products to it because there may be something you like on there i think my prices are fairly decent obviously I'm, I, I know the price of what the puzzles sell for quite well and i think they're quite good especially um with shipping costs to the uk and europe I, I, um and combined shipping costs that i do if you buy multiple items they work out quite good prices i think so please check them out and Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care now. Goodbye.